Yo, have you ever wondered if there's a way to speed up your content creation editing process when it comes to adding captions, looking for stock media, and then animating that media? You might be familiar with having to leave Premiere Pro to go to other platforms to hunt for the right stock and then downloading it, having to rename and organize the files, then importing into Premiere Pro, adding it to the timeline, trimming it, animating it, making it look half decent, only to realize it's not quite right and having to go through that whole process again. Is there a better way? Well, let's take a look at how Brevity have completely streamlined that process. Check this out. So in this vid, I'm gonna skip past the caption creation features that Brevity has. Check the vid in the description for details on those. In this one, we're gonna cover how Brevity makes adding media and then animating it much easier and faster. So here we have the Brevity Media Browser, which is where we can search for, add and animate media without having to leave Premiere Pro at all. So as you can see, we've got different sections, video, GIFs, images, emojis, and audio. And each of these sections is broken down into different providers. So if you look in video, we've got Pexels and Pixabay. And then in GIFs, we've got Giphy, Giphy stickers. In images, we've got Pexels, Unsplash, Pixabay, and Noun Project. In emojis, we've got Google, Google Animated, Apple, Twitter, or formerly known as, and Facebook. And the audio is provided by Openverse. So you've got plenty of media available to you there in all its different forms, ready to add to the timeline to then animate. And it can animate any media you've got in your project. It doesn't have to be from the Brevity tool. For instance, I've got this Alex Hormozy clip here and I had some existing stock, which kind of suits this particular bit. Let's just play that quick. It's like, man, life was so chill. Like we just, we could do whatever the f we wanted. You know, we, we didn't have an office. Like we didn't have to show up, we just did whatever we wanted. Cool, we've got a little bit of media in there. We can probably make that more interesting with a bit a movement and Brevity's got some really easy tools to make that happen. So to affect this clip, just select it and then the Brevity Media Browser will show us the options that we have. Up the top here, we've got position and then we've got intro, constant and outro. For the intro, we've got 3D movements, we've got bounce movements and fades where they fade in as they come in and from where we can choose it to scale up from a particular position. And we've got scale for different scaling movements. And then we've got slides to slide things in and out. So having those visuals makes things really easy when selecting what kind of movements you want. So I'm gonna go for slide left slow. You can then keep that as it is, or you can hit the settings icon down here, and then it gives you more options to be able to tweak the movement to make it animate in a different way. So you can see the velocity curves here. I'll choose this one. You can also adjust speed and intensity if you want, but I'm happy with that. So let's move on to outro. And it's the same deal with outro. I'm gonna go for slide left slow, so that it slides in left and then slides out left. Then to apply that movement, just click update, and let's check that out. I was like, man, life was so chill. Like we just, we could do whatever the f we wanted. You know, we, we didn't have an office. Like we didn't have to show up, we just. Okay, so that's that. Now let's try using the Brevity Media Browser to search for a suitable clip for this next section. And now we're working like maniacs, right? Okay, so in this, Alex says we're working like maniacs. So let's look for some stock media using Brevity that will highlight that point. One way to do this is to simply put the playhead where you want the stock media to come in and use whatever search terms you want relevant to what you're looking for. In this case, I've typed in hard work. Let's see what it comes up with. So that top right one looks pretty cool. You can have a scroll down, see what else it's got. There's more pages as well. I think I'll go for this one. Then we have an option over here where we can choose the size. And since we're in 1920 by 1080, We'll choose that size because we don't need it any bigger. Press continue and then we'll look at the animation settings. So for the position, I think I'll go for fit screen bottom. That'll fit the media to the bottom of the screen. And for the intro, I think I'll go fly swivel slow. And if we hit this icon down here, we can see how that will affect the clip. And then for the outro, let's have a look. Scroll down a bit. I think I'll go for fly tilt slow. Then it's just a case of pressing insert and it will insert that media into the sequence with those animations. Let's take a look. Oh, and now... Uh, let's come in slightly too small. I think I've got the scale set incorrectly here. I'm just going to click on effects, then reset the scale to 100, which is always available as well. So you can mix Premiere Pro's built-in settings with Brevity settings and mix and match the two. Oh. And now we're working like maniacs, right? I've, I've and there you go. So it makes that process really simple. Now let's move on to something else. Maybe let's add an emoji. And I'll move it along to an earlier bit in the clip. And this will also show how the Brevity Media interface integrates with the caption interface. And then if we hit this icon here, suggest media, we can drag along to highlight a section of words and Brevity's AI will suggest a word based on that section with which to search for some media. 
You don't have to go with what brevity is suggested. You can always choose your own terms, but for now, this is fine. We'll go with this talking head emoji. All we need to do now is press continue and then set it up like we did before. So let's choose the position for an emoji. I think we'll go for caption relative and then choose below captions. And then for the intro animation, let's go for slide left slow. And if we check the animations, that's the one. And then we'll go for outro. And maybe I want a quick slide for that, a quick slide down. And then we'll move on down to insert and that will download, import and add the media to your sequence with the animation all in one go inside Premiere Pro without having to go anywhere. As Layla and I were talking and um I said, you know, so actually that animation is a bit too long, but that's because the amount of words that we highlighted in the transcript. The easiest way to deal with that is just to drag the clip to make it smaller and then press update in the Brevity browser. But before I do that, I'm going to add some extra animation in the middle of the movement. I'll click constant and then hit swivel rotate medium here and then press update. And Brevity will add the new animation and retime the clip, no problem. Which is Layla and I were talking and, um, Cool, so I love how easy it is to make tweaks like that. Just a few clicks and then update and it's done. So let's play about with that a bit more. Maybe I'll go to the position and I'll change the position to change the size of it. So I'm gonna to go to screen fit and then select fit screen bottom and then hit update and let's take a look at that. Which is Layla and I were talking and okay so that's a little bit big and again you can just jump into effect controls and tweak it like you normally would to anything else in premiere pro i'll just scale that down and play that back which is Layla and i were talking and and i'm thinking that emoji is a little bit dark so let's see if we can find anything else that will contrast with the background a bit more and this is really easy just click here on swap and then maybe i'll change the word speaking and search for the word talk instead that's cool, I reckon that'll work. So now just click on that, hit confirm, and then hit continue. And all the positioning and animation is still in place. You can change it here if you want, but I'm gonna keep it as it is and press update. Let's play that. This, which is Layla and I were talking and okay so i feel like that's a better emoji but i want to give it a little overshoot to make it kind of bounce as it comes in just to give it a bit more character so to do that select the clip go back to the brevity media browser and we're still on intro so i'll click on the animation that's been selected and then hit the settings and then looking at these velocity curves the one at the end has that overshoot and you can see the overshoot with the square there then we'll just go to update and then play that back which is Layla and i were talking and um, okay, so yeah, just a little bounce there, just gives it a bit extra. But I want to make it slightly longer, so I'll just stretch the clip and then update just to see how that looks. Which is Layla and I were talking, and um, I said, you know, when we... Okay, cool. So also now I'm thinking because it's a speech bubble, I might want to move it up towards Alex's head so it kind of looks like it's him talking. And with brevity, nothing's locked in place. So as before, we can use effect controls with brevity to come up with whatever we want. So if I select the clip and then move to effect controls and click on motion, we can see the bounding marks around the emoji. And then we just need to click on the emoji and drag to where we want. And now the clever bit, we just need to click update and brevity will take the new position into consideration and keep the rest of the animation and the movements the same. Which is Layla and I were talking and um, I said, you know. Now that was so much easier than if we had created the keyframes ourselves and then we had to make an adjustment. But with brevity, it's just a quick drag and update and it's all good. And one last thing, just to make this speech bubble make sense, we need to flip it round. So I don't have effects open. I'm just gonna go to window and select effects. Then go to the effects window, search for horizontal flip, drag that onto the clip and then I think we're all good. Now let's play that back. Which is Layla and I were talking and um, I said, you know, when we, you know. And that looks better. Something else we can do with brevity is we can select all the animated clips and apply one animation to all the clips in one go. So I'll just select these three clips that we put in the sequence there and then head up to the brevity media browser. And for the intro, I think I'll go to fade and we'll go for fade down slow and then move to outro. Let's have a look at some of these. Maybe I'll go for slide right slow. And then Brevity will do its thing. And if we check those clips out, we didn't change the animation in the middle. It was only the intro and the outro. So that fades down and then slides out to the right. And then the next clip with a couple on the bed, that now fades down and slides right. This one's a bit longer, so it hangs for a bit before it slides out. And the third clip with the guy on the laptop, again, fades down and slides right. So every clip in the sequence can be affected by only one animation update and the click of a button. Okay, so I'll delete those stock media clips and let's push brevity a little bit more by getting it to suggest media for our whole clip this time using its AI. To do that, head up to Suggest Media, where we'll get this AI suggestion box. We've got a choice of media again. We'll stick with emojis for the time being, and we'll give the AI some additional context. I'll tell it to aim the emojis towards a success mindset. Then we want to select where the position of the emojis will be. So if we go to Position, and then I'll go down to Caption Relative, 
I'll set these ones to below captions. Then we can set up the animations in the same way that we did before. So I'll select an intro, a constant, which is a movement in the middle, and then an outro and press generate. Okay, so Brevity Media has now suggested some emojis for us. Let's take a look at what it suggested. So for the first section, it's given us a thought bubble. And then scrolling down where it talks about being chill, it's given us a sloth. Moving on to where it says we didn't have an office and we did whatever we wanted. It's got an emoji that says free. We've got a bicep down here and a calendar as well. So it all suits the transcript and we can get rid of anything we don't like. We've got a lightning bolt here. I think I'll get rid of that. There's a placeholder there. We've got a target there. Not too sure about that. Calendar is all good. I think I'll get rid of that target. And then when we're happy, we just hit import pending and it imports all those emojis with our animations directly on the timeline. No keyframing, all done. So let's check that out. We've got the thought bubble coming in there, animations all set. Next up, we've got this sloth comes in, hangs around a bit before he disappears. Then we've got this emoji that says free. The sloth is a bit small, so if I just click on that, I can go to effect controls, increase the scale, and it won't mess anything up. Animation's still all in place. Ah, he's a little bit high there, so let's bring him down. I was like, man, life was so chill. Like we just, we could do whatever the f we wanted. You know, we we didn't have an office. Like we didn't have to show up, we just did whatever we wanted. Okay, cool. So I just want to put a swivel on those emojis so that when it comes in, it swivels and then it goes out. So to do that again, just group the clips and head to the Brevity Media browser. I'll cross off what we've got in the constant section and then choose something different. So I'm looking for something that flips around in 3D. So I'll go to the 3D section and we've got swivel rotate ease medium there. Then click insert to apply that to all the selected clips. I had a personal example that was similar to this, which is Layla. And, and easy as that, all the emojis now flip round. And of course, you can do exactly the same process with footage, images, GIFs, and sound. So if you're creating content regularly with all the features Brevity has, including caption styling, translation tools, and podcast automation, where it cuts and edits your long form content into shorts, Brevity is definitely a one-stop shop for that whole workflow, and it keeps it all inside Premiere Pro. From November 26th, Brevity is offering 20% off for Black Friday. That's every plan, every feature, 20% off. So if you have been putting it off, now's a perfect time to try it. If you're banging out content in quantity, Brevity will speed up and smooth out that process. So if that sounds good to you, I'll leave a link in the description or just head to brevity.pro and get creating.